Hi everybody, this is Roman from Crypto Lions. Today I thought I would do a beginner level tutorial how to create an account in the Jungle Testnet and connect it to Scatter Desktop. There will be uh, four steps in this tutorial. Downloading and setting up Scatter, telling Scatter about the Jungle Testnet, generating a key pair, and then creating an account in Jungle using that key pair. So let's get started. Go to the official GitHub repository, github.com slash get scatter and download scatter desktop. In my case, I need the Linux version. And it's always a good habit to check the check to check the checksum. The creators of this GitHub repository were gracious enough to leave the command right there for your convenience. And then this alphanumeric string should match this one. And indeed it does. So there's a very high degree of probability that we have downloaded what the owners of this GitHub repository intended for us to download. I probably need to change the permissions to pseudo chmod. All right. And we should be done with this terminal. So let's open it. Scatter. If anybody wants to guess my password, please write it in the comments below. And if anyone's correct, I will give you one jungle EOS token. This is a throwaway installation, so we don't really need those, but I'll save them anyway. Okay, except I don't want to choose uh, automatic backup location, but I think I need to. All right, I've chosen uh, automatic backup locations. Now click here, click there, and we are in. You never have to mess with this identity stuff. That's a different feature of Scatter. To use EOS, you only need to you only need the vault. So next step, tell Scatter about the jungle testnet. Go into settings, my networks or just networks. And here you see EOS Ethereum Tron. That is right. Scatter is not just for EOS. It's also for other, other cryptocurrencies as well. However, I will delete those. I think it makes the scanning faster if you get rid of those. And I'll just leave EOS mainnet. And we will add, uh, we'll add EOS IO as well. All right. Or we'll add the, we'll add the jungle testnet as well. So here we go, add an account. For some reason, this won't work if you leave it EOS, you need to change it to EOS IO. Here you just type the local name that you'll use for the jungle test net, How about like that with an exclamation point. And then you have this stuff, host and port and chain ID and whether it's HTTP or HTTPS. So for this, you could go to the jungle test net monitor jungle.cryptolions.io. Let's make it a little bigger. And um, go to first API endpoints. All right, and just copy one of these down here. Jungle Crypto Lions IO. It's HTTP and you do need to get that right. And port is 18888. If something isn't working later, this is the place you should probably go back to and maybe try a different API endpoint or make sure you typed everything in correctly. And then there's chain ID. Uh, the easy way to get that is probably just to pop into our Telegram channel, Jungle Testnet, and ask. But the fast way to get that is to go back to the monitor, Jungle Crypto Lions IO, and go to, uh, let's see, API. 
make sure this says get info if it doesn't type it in and right there is your chain ID for the jungle test net notice when I'm returning to scatter I'm very careful where I click if you click for example on the icon scatter or on the logo it'll take you back and you'll have to enter this stuff again all right chain ID check mark network saved it should be good so uh, if we go back to settings and networks we should see the jungle testnet alongside EOS mainnet I deleted the others all right very good next we generate a key so go into the vault new key if you already have them on paper you can use import if you prefer for example to use Cleos to generate your keys you just give the Cleos create key command and generate all the pairs you want but for the sake of expediency I will let scatter just generate one right away linking available accounts all right so here we go we have a key pair if this account will be important to you then go into the EOS IO and copy copy the private key and go save that somewhere all right you can give a name for this vault jungle throw away and then you will need your public key, your public EOS key in order to create an account in Jungle. So I copied my EOS public key to the clipboard. And then I go back to the monitor, create account. Let's call it throw away three, four, five. And we'll use the same key for both the owner and active you can make these separate for a higher degree of security I'm not a robot oh man it's making me do this I don't see any other buses create all right throw away three four five let's um, let's get account in for for throw away three four five you'll see the balance is nothing but it has delegated a hundred EOS good the accounts created let's use the faucet throw away three four five all right, 100 EOS and 100 jungle tokens have been sent to throw away 345. Let's go to account info again. And indeed, I now have a balance. Now, let's go back to scatter, and you should see evidence that this account is now recognized. Go to the vault, jungle throw away. All right, no evidence yet, but sometimes you need to refresh. And there we have it. There's the account name that it got by querying the jungle API with the public key. And now Scatter knows about your active and owner key. So that's great. We are pretty much done. Let's prove that it works though. Here is the beta version of Deru, EOS Truth Bonds, a project that I'm very excited about. And let's try to log in using Scatter log in do you want to log in to jungle.deru.io do i want to log in with the active key or the owner key in this case they're the same and i'm in there's my account name now i can make promises and uh and start using the deru application that the deru smart contract that has been deployed to the jungle testnet i hope that was useful i hope that wasn't too long and, uh, and thank you for your support. It's, that's what lets us build cool projects. Ciao.